Hey chickies, okay today we're doing another many inspired by a cup design. I really hope you like it. Let's get into it. So the polish for this one is from Keys to Black. It's called Lapis. It's from their new water permeable nail polish range. Apparently they're changing all of their bases to this base, which is the water permeable base. I'll put links in the description box down below so you can go and read all about that. I'm in two minds as to whether or not this is a good thing or if it's just a gimmick. I'm not really 100% sure. As far as I'm concerned, water and your nails are not a good mix. That's why I literally never shower um, and never wash my hands. It's like I wash my hands, but I never shower, I shower or wash my hands without nail polish on them because I don't want water to get into my nails. Because uh, as far as the things that I've read and the things that I've learnt over the years, Water is a bad thing for your nails. It'll make them crack and dry out too quickly and that's just never a good thing. So, mm, um, not really sure how I feel about it, to be honest. Now, I think I already said this, but I'll say it again. They are changing all of their bases through to this particular water permeable base and the bottles that have the WP on the back of them are the bottles that are the water permeable or using the water permeable base anyway so this actually perfectly matches the cup I got from my sister for my birthday so that's why I'm doing this many with this particular color not particularly this particular polish but this particular color because I thought it worked so well now I'm still using my nail and base coat so I don't know if that counteracts the water permeableness of the polish not really sure about that Plus, I'll also be using Sesh Feet as my top coat, which will maybe also stop it from being water permeable. I couldn't see anywhere on their site where they said that they had a water permeable base coat or top coat yet. They may be bringing that out, so that'd be great. This, however, this change in base does not detract from the fact that these Keys to Black polishes, or this one in particular that I've tried, I've got four the other day, uh, is still perfect in its application like that's one coat I mean that's one coat so still the polish is beautiful and goes on like an absolute dream so mm, I'm still going to use my base coat and I'm still going to use my top coat so it doesn't really make any difference I don't think whether or not it's water permeable because I think my base coat and my top coat will stop it from being water permeable think I don't know it doesn't cover that in the Q&A so anyway to create the design I'm going to be using white acrylic craft paint but of course you can use white polish for this not a problem at all it'll just work perfectly either way Now the brush that I'm using is from Picture Polish. It's the number three in their brush range and I've used it a couple of times using uh, doing one stroke. So I mean this is really easy. All you need to do is dip the tip of your brush into your paint of your choice, whatever you're deciding to use. And we're going to use that paint to create a five petal flower. Now the five petal flower is kind of a loose flower. It's not a really tight flower. Um, or you could say messy, but I'm going to say loose because it sounds more professional. <laughs> now, in between each of those and sort of a little bit further away, but in between, still in between each of those first five petals, you're going to add some more sort of, of these little dashes. I suppose you could call them dashes anyway, or petals, whatever. Uh, and then from that, you're going to build the design. But you will, it's always best, I think, with this design in particular to do the, that five petal flower first and then build out from that. Now, it would depend on how long your nails are as to how many of those initial flowers you could possibly add to your nail. Of course, my nails are quite short, so I can only really add one because otherwise it would have been ridiculously silly. And next I'm going to do a quick little clean up using my Royal Majestic brush. Now, um, just while I'm here, I had a question the other day from Kailton1032 about the 416 or Royal Majestic 416O brush. The brush that you need to get is the one quarter brush, not the 3 8 brush. It's like uh, a little bit bigger, although that one would still work I'd say. But the one quarter brush is the one I mostly use. I do have one of the three eighths brushes and I haven't used it yet. So 
Um, if, when I, if and when I do, I will let you know how I go with that. But I don't think it's going to be that big much of a problem. It is a much wider brush. But yeah, I think that's the key to, the, I think that's the size. So you want the Royal Majestic 4160 in one quarter. And just in case it wasn't super duper clear, I'm going to do it on my middle nail as well. And as you can see, I'm placing the, the five petaled flower towards the tip of my nail rather than in the middle of my nail. And unlike most manis, I'm doing this design on every single nail, except of course for my thumb, which, you know, if I was that way inclined to paint my thumbs, my thumbnail, I would most definitely do this design on there as well, most definitely. And once your design is completely dry, you can go ahead and seal it all in with a good quality top coat. I, of course, am using fresh feet as per usual. And that's it for this one. I really hope you like it. I liked it so much, I kid you not, I wore it for three days straight. And no, I didn't get any shrinking from my fresh feet. So, yay! <laughs> anyway, thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye chickies. I want to thank you for subscribing and thanks for that delicious thumbs up. Bye.